Hello everyone, you are watching Average Joe Video. My name is Joe, and today we're going to take a look at the Flow Joe brand gas guzzler fuel transfer pump. And we're gonna put this thing to use actually transferring fuel out of my boat and into my truck. So we're gonna see how this works. So I'm gonna include a link to this product in the description of the video. I do wanna point out that I am an Amazon affiliate so if you click on the link and you make a purchase using my link, I do receive a small commission. That definitely helps out the channel and I greatly appreciate it. But before we get started, let's go ahead and let's take a look and see what all you get inside of this kit. So the first thing that I noticed is that the case is very durable. And I can say that the latches are very secure as well, which is important because with something like a fuel transfer pump, obviously it needs to be protected. It's gonna more than likely get tossed around whether it's in a garage or a shed, or you're taking it with you in the bed of a truck. Uh, it's one of those things that needs some type of protection. And this case is definitely gonna do the job. So as you can see in the kit, we actually have um, tubing, for pumping gas, obviously, out of a fuel tank on a vehicle. Um, it also includes a capless tank funnel, as well as some clips to be able to hold that tubing during the process. Um, the kit is very comprehensive. Uh, in addition to that, obviously, it does include the 12 volt automotive power plug, basically a 12 volt accessory plug. Um, you're also gonna notice that it does include a remote control, which is required for operation. So we're gonna get to try that out as well. Additionally, it's important to note that the pickup tube actually has a filter assembly on it, which is very handy. That's also gonna provide weight for it to sit down into the tank. In this case, I'm gonna be pumping fuel out of my boat and into my truck. And we also have a, another inline fuel filter as well. So one of the key components to preserving any fuel pump is to have a good filtration system to keep those particles from getting into the pump and then shortening the life. Okay, and before I get started, uh, I am going to actually be wearing some disposable gloves. I am a huge fan of the Glove Works brand, uh, heavy duty nitrile gloves, so I highly recommend these. Uh, I will leave a link to this as well in the description of the video. So if you're interested in some high quality disposable gloves, this is what you're looking for. Okay, so the first step is to actually place the unit on the ground. It does tell you in the directions, obviously you should have a fire extinguisher handy and you should not place the pump unit on a vehicle because it could build up static electricity. So we're following that recommendation, obviously that's all I'm doing is going right down through the directions. And once we've placed it on the ground, uh, we're gonna go ahead and connect the 12 volt power source. In this case, we're gonna connect that to the accessory plug in my Toyota Tundra. They even give you extra fuses for the unit, which is nice. As a side note, you wanna turn on your vehicle's accessory power because that's going to power on the adapter. You can see that there as well. So make sure you do that so that you have power running through the line. Okay, so the first step is to take the yellow hose. This is the one that does not have the spring on it. And we're gonna put this pickup end into the fuel tank uh, that we're pumping from. Okay, the next step is to set up the line that's going into my truck's fuel tank. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the cap. And then I'm gonna use this funnel, which will keep that metal flap inside of um, the gas entry point open. And then I can insert the spring side of the yellow hose and begin the pumping process. Okay, so here is the spring side of uh, the yellow hose. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna insert that down through this funnel, and then we're ready to begin transferring fuel. Okay. 
And one last side note, there is a power switch on the 12 volt power cord. So you wanna make sure that's in the on position or you're gonna be waiting a while, nothing's gonna happen. So you wanna make sure your vehicle accessory is on, you've got the 12 volt accessory plugged in and you have the power switch in the on position. Okay, now the way this works is on the remote control, if you press on one time, you have a run cycle of one minute. If you press on two times, you have a run cycle of five minutes. At any time during the pumping process, you can simply press off to stop that cycle. So let's go ahead and give this a try for the first time. There's definitely a lot of fuel throwing, flowing through that very quickly. So while this is pumping, this is a perfect time for you to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. So there we have it, that was a one minute cycle. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and start it again. This time I'm gonna press the on button twice. Uh, obviously there is gonna be a, a few seconds of delay, but we're gonna make it run for five minutes. And you can see that the fuel is moving very quickly, which is what I was anticipating. So I'm happy with that because I need to be able to empty this tank in a reasonable amount of time. So I'm gonna let this finish transferring. I will say that so far I'm very happy with this product. We'll see how it works in terms of long-term use, if it holds up over time. I don't have any reason to believe that it won't. So there you have it, the Flojo Gas Guzzler model. If you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. Thank you for watching.